Welcome to Nova Videos. The open circle potential is the equilibrium condition of your electrochemical cell. In a three-way electrode setup, it is the potential difference between a working and the reference electrode, without applying any signal to the electrochemical cell or switching the measurement on. So the cell is switched off. Welcome to the Nova software. Open circuit potential monitoring and measurements involving the open circuit potential as a reference potential are quite common in electrochemistry. This video explains how to perform open circuit potential measurements with NOVA and how to use the measured OCP as a refer reference potential for consequent measurements. NOVA provides a specific command which can be used to monitor the OCP called OCP determination. This command is available from the measurement general group in the commands browser. The OCP determination command can be located anywhere in the procedure editor. So if you go to a new procedure, in the measurement general group, you will find OCP determination. So this command can be used to measure the output circuit potential. We'll switch the cell off before the sharing the measurement. Uh, this means that after the value of the OCP has been measured, the cell must be switched on. This has to be done by the user, by switching the cell on manually or by using the set cell command after the OCP determination. So when we look at the OCP command, there are some parameters. First of all, command name, you can modify it to OCP1, for example, if you use multiple OCP values. Then um, you can change the duration, let's say 20 seconds, the interval time, so how many data points you'd like to have. At the moment, we're using 200 data points. You can use the average of the OCP. The average OCP means that it will calculate for, for the whole duration and average out to one value. If you're only interested in the last value of the OCP, you switch this one off. So then the last value will be recorded as the OCP. But let's say switch it on, accept the change of DEDT. This means that um, it is a toggle to control the provided uh, to specify if the OCP command should stop when the measured DEDT value becomes equal or lower than the DEDT limit value. So the DEDT limit is the time derivative limit in volts per second. When this value is not zero, the recording of the OCP will stop when the time derivative of the potential is smaller or equal to the specified limit. This property is only available when the accept on the DEDT limit toggle is enabled. So it, it comes away when you disable and enable it. All right, let's see what happens. Um, when I press start, it will record the OCP and so you'll see uh, 0 0.95 volts and the change of the, the voltage with respect to the change of time was zero. So it's accepting the change and also it tells you uh, the cutoff of the change of potential with respect to change of time occurred. So that's the warning you get. So this is how the OCP command works. Now we can use this command in a procedure. Let's go to uh, our default procedures, open library, default procedures, let's say cyclic voltammetry. What you have to do is just drag and drop the command, OCP command, inside just after the outlap control, because the OCP is measured uh, without the cell switched on, so the cell is switched off. So we have to do manually, we have to switch the cell on after the OCP measurement. Then we have to define, all right, what kind of, uh, how long we want to measure the OCP. Well, let's say for 20 seconds. Then we're going to apply with respect to OCP. Well, that's done. So zero volt at the moment is with respect to reference electrode. And with the drop down button, you can select OCP. So the, OC, the applied potential is with respect to OCP. The other parameters in your cyclic voltammetry 
also needs to be done with respect to OCP. So here you can modify all with respect to OCP. I'm modifying the vertexes a little bit. That's it. So this is the way to um, to, uh, to 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 put the OCP in the command name I mean in the command uh, procedure. So I've set my OCP. Twenty seconds. I'm using the average OCP, and I'm when the, the change is not uh, less than one to the power of minus six volt per second, then we accept this value and continue with the measurement. We apply zero volt with respect to OCP, and then start the measurement. Don't want to wait five seconds. Don't wait for two seconds, and the measurement will start. Very simple. Press start. So first we have our OCP measurement. We're accepting the change of potential. And you see already we've defined 0 0.5 plus the OCP. So it goes to 0 0.6 roughly. The OCP value is 0 0.095. So it shows you what kind of OCP value we have. And here you'll see from minus 4 volt to plus 6 volt we have the measurement so if we don't do this so if we don't use the OCP we can go back we can say okay I want to delete it then you have to modify it back to your reference electrode you say okay reference 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 and now I'm doing the same procedure, but now with respect to the reference electrode. And then, first of all, you don't see an OCP measurement, of course. Same measurement, but now I'm defining with a reference electrode. It goes to 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.5. When we overlay those two together, so we can we can modify the color, let's say make this one red, and add to new overlay. The other one also add to new overlay. And you see already that the blue one is with uh, OCP determination. Also the star potential is almost 0 0.1 volt uh, bigger than the other one so you see that this is the OCP difference already and you can already see what kind of influence it has on the measurement itself it's shifting uh, the whole graph uh, with the level of the OCP all right this is with cyclophotometry uh, we can also do that with impedance spectroscopy so if we go to our, our uh, default procedures let's say impedance spectroscopy let's use this one Again, we're going to drag and drop the OCP command just before the uh, when we switch the cell on. We want to wait for 20 seconds. And that's it. Then we modify the frequency range from to 10 hertz, for example. The number per decade is 3. And we use 10 millivolts of amplitude. So first I'm going to measure with respect to OCP. So we apply the, the zero volt with, so we apply the voltage we measure at the OCP value. And from this DC voltage, we're going to superimpose the AC voltages for the impedance measurements. Everything is set, press start. 
Well, first we have the OSP measurement. Well, again, it's stable. And then we do a measurement with, um, with impedance. You can follow the frequency in here. So we started at, uh, at one megahertz and then went down to 10 hertz. So this is finished. You see, this is my measurement, the blue one. I can also delete. I'm going to delete the OCP command from my procedure and I'm going to switch back to my reference electrode. I do the same experiment again. So you don't see the OCP determination first, you'll see directly the impedance measurement and what kind of influence it has on the measurement. I'm going to overlay those two plots. So I'm going to change this measurement color a little bit to red and make it a little bit bigger like this. I overlay this to my new overlay like this. And this is my measurement without the OCP and I can overlay to the this one as well and you see what the influence it has if you so the blue one is without open circuit potential and the red one is with open circuit potential so what kind of influence it has on your measurement as well this is very important to understand that you need to find to, to start with your equilibrium of your cell before you do your measurement. Thank you for watching Nova videos. If you found this Nova video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metrum Autolab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.